Joining me today on NYSE Floor Talk is Amir Vexler. He is president and CEO at Centris Energy. Amir, wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, Judy. So Amir, tell me about Centris and as a new CEO, what are you most excited about? Centris is an essential component to nuclear making a huge comeback in the US and all over the world. Uh, Centris is a key element in the fuel supply chain. Uh, just last year, we've proven that we are capable and richer of uranium. And as most people know and realize, that is essential to the comeback of the nuclear energy. So we're very excited about it. We're looking forward to all the great things we're going to do. So nuclear power is growing worldwide as a major solution to climate change. What role does Centris play in that? There are many reactor developers. Um, there's many technologies that are competing out there abroad and in the U.S. There's advanced reactors, there's light water reactors. All of them require fueling. All of them require the use of enriched uranium. There are very few companies. We, in fact, are the only non-state owned enrichment company that is able to enrich, has proven its capability of enriching. And uh, that obviously opens a huge door for us to participate in this growing market. Amir, how is the company working to support today's fleet and the advanced reactors of tomorrow? One of the biggest issues we have in the industry now in the deployment of reactors is the enrichment market is very tight. With the pulling out of Russia out of the enrichment market, there is clearly a big gap and a big hole that the industry and the supply chain need to be able to cover. Uh, we at Centris, with the help of the Department of Energy and the government of the United States, have been able to demonstrate that we can enrich. And the role that we're going to play, to answer your question, is we're going to enable all of these reactors to have the proper supply chain, whether it's here in the U.S. or around the world, to be able to fuel and be competitive. And finally, Amir, tell me, what's the challenge to the return of nuclear power and your ability to be the domestic fuel provider for the industry? Well, one of the encouraging thing is, is we saw the support of five countries agreeing that they have to double their nuclear generation by 2050. That's a lot of reactors and that's a lot of big demand on the supply chain for the fuel. So we have to ensure that we fully focused on task. We have to make sure that we are keeping up with the timelines of the reactor builds and um, I think this is going to be an exciting process. And you are ringing the closing bell today. Tell me, what are you highlighting? I would like to highlight all the wonderful work that has been done by the good people of Centris over literally decades. So I'm here getting the credit, but the reality of the matter is, is there are people that have worked for many years, uh, done a fantastic job to get us to where we are, which is to be able to show that we are able to enrich um, we had a history that has its ups and downs, but I'm here today with my team, all thanks to a very dedicated group of people that have been at it for decades. So I, would like, I wish to thank them and I wish to recognize them. Wonderful. Well, great to talk with you, Amir. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk today. Great. Thank you, Judy.